internet that is everywhere, always on, and at a price where everyone can get a piece of the pie is the dream. But the reality is often far from that. Dare to take your laptop out in a public space, airport or hotel, and it can cost you as much as $10, 10 euros, even 10 pounds an hour. But what if we all shared our Wi-Fi connection? Then there'd be universally available Wi-Fi at a fraction of the cost. A revolution rock. It is a... That's what the company Fon is doing. It's not an internet service provider, but it is organizing people to build a giant Wi-Fi community. For five euros or dollars, Fon will supply you with a router as long as you share your connection with other Fon subscribers or Fon heroes. The more people do it, the better for everyone. When we're trying to sell the idea of fun, we're not telling people share your Wi-Fi because it's, it's good for your community, it's good for your neighborhood, it's good for your country, whatever. We're telling share your Wi-Fi because it's good for you. Because when you're going to move around, when you're going to leave your home and you want to connect to the internet, you can. Why? Because you're sharing it at home. The latest Fon office to open is in Paris, France. Just around the corner from it is Café Cherie. It's the sort of place where Fon is catching on. Here, Faneros pour coffee down their throats while their laptops sip in the free Wi-Fi. In my experience, there aren't many cafes where you can get completely free Wi-Fi. Here, there are lots of students and lots of people who use the Internet. And the simple fact that it's free means you can come here and surf the net at the same time as eating your breakfast. Fon sees itself as cut from the same cloth as open source and as a revolution with a community feel to it. Francois is a grassroots kind of guy. He works for the Belleville Social Centre in Paris, which helps new arrivals to France to find their feet. Francois views the internet as a tool for advancement and inclusion and believes he can see where Fon is going. We only use open source here like Linux. And with Fon, which is also open source, people can come here with their laptops. What's more, in the future we're going to see Wi-Fi telephones and Wi-Fi MP3 players. A load of stuff that relies on Wi-Fi. But in this bright Wi-Fi future, there are a couple of potential drawbacks. One is that however small your pond, your ISP might not like you sharing your connection with whoever happens to swim by. Fon is, however, negotiating with ISPs and telling them there's more to what they're doing than just the Internet. For many, many ISPs today, Wi-Fi and Internet is a way of bringing telephony services to people. Now, with Fon, what we tell the ISP is basically come with us let's strike a deal because you as an ISP will benefit from something you'd never thought of Fon has got itself some pretty big backers Skype and Google have both thrown money at it but for this worldwide Wi-Fi community to really take off they need to get themselves a critical mass of subscribers if not they're not going to get the seamless wall-to-wall -wall coverage they really need.